About 1,000 houses along the Tumbaria to Prom Prom Junction in the Greater Accra region are to be pulled down to pave way for a 16-kilometer Trans-Ecowas Highway Road project. Uh, Joseph Armstrong reports that residents and traders to be affected are requesting two months to help them relocate. There is a section of the road which has been marked already by the highways. And anybody who has encroached on the highways, you don't pay any compensation. Mm -hmm. Except the activity of the road expansion is affecting your property beyond the road reservation. It is, it is 45 meters, the center of the current road, up to both sides. So if you are within the 45, there is no compensation. All these buildings have been demarcated for demolition. The building behind me is where the demolition is set to start from and it stretch all the way to the highway which is some 50 meters away from uh, the highway and the residents are actually appealing to the government to at least give them some two months prior notice before they start the demolition exercise. Residents and traders are worried. If there is going to be compensation and there should be compensation then it should come in time so that we would be able to look for other um, places or maybe you look for a land we look for a land and then we start building if they will actually the government will compensate that we can leave everything to the government to do it but with that compensation we cannot sit down the our property will go like that <laughs> They have marked our buildings. We're waiting for them. They have to give us more time to relocate. But according to the municipal chief executive, the exercise will commence by the end of January. It is coming on in January. And we are appealing to all the encroachers on the road to start packing off so that they will give way for the smooth takeoff of the project. The demolition, which will pay way for the expansion of the road from the motorway runabout to Central University Junction, will be a big relief to motorists who ply that stretch following the usual gridlock. Joseph Armstrong, TV3 News.